The new Tank Girl, probably, let's talk about what we know about the upcoming production, is Margot Robbie. Uh, her production company, Lucky Chap Entertainment, has optioned a Tank Girl film that I believe was already in development for a couple months. Like, they've been working on making a new version of this film for at least a couple months. So, her production company options it. What do you think the chances are that a movie gets made with Margot Robbie as Tank Girl in the next year or two? Well, if it happens in the next year or two, I'd say that's awesome. It's going to be her. But if they don't get the ball rolling on this one, I don't think that she'll be able to do it. Did you see the first Tank Girl movie? I did see the first Tank Girl movie do in you, the theater. Oh, the, do you remember anything about it? So honestly, I barely remembered it. Yeah. Um, it. It wasn't until I just recently watched a few clips that it started to come back to me. But it's still, I don't know what was going on in my life, but I wasn't uh, so tuned into it that it mattered a lot. Yeah, I mean, I'm the same as you. Like, well, I'm, I'm even worse because I never actually saw the movie. So me watching these clips with you on YouTube of just stuff from the movie was like my first exposure to it ever. Well, to be fair, at the time that this came out, I was working for a movie theater. So I went to every movie, whether I was interested in it or not, or I saw parts of every movie because I'd have to walk through and do theater checks. So would this have been like an employee screening or do you like you went for free with friends at a different time? Um, we did both of those things. So I'm not sure when I saw this in particular, if it was just going to see it or if it was um, like one of the like loading it onto the reel for the first time because back then it was film <laughs> and <laughs> remember the days like, we would have to set it up and then we would play it through and see if a projectionist needed to edit anything yeah so again like with this movie i haven't seen it i know a little bit about it just knowing about comic books but honestly i've never read any tank girl comics either well i mean this definitely the movie came out at a time where this like you know punk girl kind of thing was very popular mm -hmm. um i don't recall the actress's name what was it it was Lori petty who played tank girl she looks a lot like uh gwen stefani did at the time for no doubt and gwen stefani was a part of the ska scene at that time mm -hmm. and this kind of goes along that same vein of style with like the wild colors and the black and white checkers um, so I think that it was really fitting for the 90s, so it'll be interesting to see um, if that's where we're heading, like, pop culture-wise, is back to the 90s. We do have the uh, Beverly Hills 90210 coming back, um, so I wonder if, like, Ninja Turtles is going to make a bigger comeback. Oh, Nin um, Ninja Turtles never left. Ninja Turtles has been here the whole time. Okay, not really, though. <laughs> you, when, as soon as you said Gwen Stefani, it made me think, like, wow. What if they had just cast her the first time around? Do you think she could have done it? Uh, no. No? Okay. And I don't think she was that popular yet. In 95, I'm not sure. Uh, I think I was listening to Tragic Kingdom at the time. Oh, okay. So, so that, maybe she just started to get popular. That might have been a year or two later now that I think about it. That might have been like 96, 97. I think it was a little bit later, but she was definitely already touring like more of the small club scene mm -hmm. with No Doubt. Um, doing a lot of these ska songs, you know, they had horns and things in the band. How well does the next Suicide Squad, Sui not Suicide Squad, but the Harley Quinn spinoff movie, mm -hmm. Birds of Prey, which they are filming now if they haven't already finished, like how well will that do? Well, I think uh, inform, you know, like how likely is it to make like another comic book Margot Robbie movie that's not even uh, DC, it's not even connected. Because this is originally like a British publication, it was... Uh, Deadline mm -hmm. was the magazine that Tank Girl first appeared in. But I, I don't know. I mean, let's think about for, for a minute, like, how about the Birds of Prey movie? Like, you've seen pictures of her in that, in, like, the new Harley Quinn outfit. How well is that movie going to do? I don't know. I don't think that they're, like, just based on the one picture that I've seen. Of her in the overalls. In the overalls. Roller skating. They're not really trying to reach the audience that they had yeah. before, so we'll uh, see. We just have to compare briefly, briefly, like, the Harley Quinn Halloween outfit, like, starting in 2015 when Suic Suicide Squad came out, like, the just absolute nuclear crater impact that was caused by that costume design. Everybody loved it. 
I loved it. You loved it. We did, we did like Joker and Halloween or Joker and Harley for a Halloween one time. Right. But so that we bought was, into it too. But that was before. That was when the trailer first came out. So nobody knew who I was. They thought I was Madonna. <laughs> but now everybody knows. That's like the design everyone knows. The daddy's little monster design. So uh, do you think if I were Tank Girl, people would know what that was? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Tank Girl is like, it's... Again, you're like going back to that like punk aesthetic. Like I think people would know like the style you're going for. They might even know the character, but I feel like a lot of people are like me. Like they know the character, but they don't know anything about the character. Mm-hmm. And like more stuff I know about the character just based on like looking up stuff for this video was well, I knew this already, but Jamie Hewlett is the artist on Tang Girl, and he's also very well known for being the visual designer for the Gorillas cartoon band. So even if uh, he had never made Tang Girl, he would have like, you know, been a pop culture, uh, fairly, fairly relevant mark being left based on that, mm-hmm. I think. Yeah. Um, so like the Tank Girl movie, I don't know if the comics were like this because honestly, until you told me, I didn't know it was comic. I mean, it makes sense. A lot of the movies that are made um, are comics, but Um, it's more like Mad Max kind of thing. They're living in a world that's like no water, people are fighting over resources, and, um, so that's kind of like the background on it. Mm -hmm. It didn't really seem very, I guess, new, or there was like, other than the punk aesthetic, this movie didn't stand out. For me, for the 90s. It has... Some people call it, like, a cult classic, and I know people that are super into it, so honestly, like, years ago, like, back when DVD was the prominent format, like, I had a buddy that owned this movie, and I could have watched it, but I never got around to it. I don't know if I'll ever watch more than those clips, but if they make the Margot Robbie version, we'll be there, right? You're there for it. Well, I'm there for it. You're there for it, too, right? I guess I would. Okay. But uh, with the time remaining, I want to talk a bit about, like, my art actually switched over. So this is no longer a Tank Girl drawing. I started oh. the video with that. And that was bar- I was borrowing very heavily by work, not just by Jamie Hewlett, but also Brian Boland and I think Rufus Dayglow. But this one, I just threw this on here because uh, I was also working on this piece this week. And this is like a version of the Juggernaut if he was a werewolf. What do you think? Um, I thought it was Master Splinter when you first showed it to me. <laughs> like a rat. He yeah. looks like a rat. But um, it's great. Yeah, I just had a lot of fun drawing this. Uh, I also want to mention, you know, before we go out today, that I really appreciate, like, all the feedback we've been getting on all these videos. It's awesome. Also awesome, people have been using the affiliate links. Like, so I've been putting links to my comic shop in the description. I'll do the same here for some Tank Girl comics if you want to check those out. But it's great that people have been following those and, like, buying some comics of their own so that as far as I'm concerned, is awesome. Yeah. But going forward, you know, the next video I probably do will be uh, an X-Men review. House of X number five comes out this Wednesday. And I know that people really enjoy those videos. There's been a ton of views on those. Uh, but until next time, honey, what can people do if they like this one? You guys, if you like this video, be sure to like it and subscribe so that you can find out when we have more videos. And let us know why you liked the video in the comment below. And if you have any links to your own drawings of Tank Girl, we want to see it. Post those in the comments, too. All right. And until next time, artists out there, keep drawing.